I reverse my non-alcoholic fatty liver disease by using intermittent fasting and periodically a 24 or a 72 hour fast. And this is how I did it. Disclaimer, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Always speak to a professional when you are changing your dietary needs and adding supplements. Please help support this channel by checking out Celgenics. If you want to learn more about this product, it will be linked in the description box below. Now let's get into it. In 2015, I was diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and borderline diabetic, along with other complications, but this is the hole that I dug and I found myself in. Now, like most people, when you hear that you have fatty liver disease, the first thing that goes through your mind is the amount of alcohol you consumed last weekend. Just so you know, I do like alcohol, but like most people, uh, I am not someone who drinks every single day. No, this is something I had created myself with the compounding effect of a poor diet and lack of exercise. Now, I am someone who believes there, there is an answer to every problem, and I like to fix things. That being said, I started to learn more about this disease and try just about everything to conquer it. In my pursuit, I had realized the best approach would be supplementation, and with the hype of fasting at the time, I decided to also put it to the test. If you want to know more information about the supplements that I use, check out this video. Now, as I started putting out this information to the public, I was reached out by many friends and family members recently diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This disease is no joke. One of my friend's wife was diagnosed with stage three. This is uh, where you have cirrhosis of the liver and unfortunately shortly afterwards she passed away. She did not drink an ounce of alcohol. So here are some of the things I did that helped me. Every day for two and a half years I did intermittent fasting protocol 16-8. I skip breakfast and I eat my first meal at noon. In an eight hour window, you consume your entire day's worth of food. Every quarter, I did a 24 or a 72 hour fast. I experimented both with dry and wet fasting. Check out my other videos that go into more details about this. So the outcome was I had lost a lot of weight, mostly water weight, and then a gradual decline in weight over the course of two and a half years for a total of 46 pounds. Now this is without any yo-yo dieting. In that span of two and a half years, I experimented with eliminating certain foods and increasing foods that are nutritionally dense. Intermittent fasting had corrected my blood sugar levels and cravings went away soon afterwards, and I no longer had that midday crash. My concentration, memory, and focus had increased tremendously. Energy levels skyrocketed. Fasting also increased my metabolism and many of the other health concerns were also corrected. Now here is the science behind fasting and how it helped me with many of my issues. So let's break it down. When you eat three meals a day along with snacks, you're constantly fueling your body, never giving it the time to use up all that energy. And like most people, add in a sedentary lifestyle, this will also speed up that weight gain. So what happens is this excess fuel gets stored in our fat and over time builds up to the point making us become more obese and diabetic. Fasting tells your body to start breaking down that stored fat and use it as energy. As a result, you become more fat adapted. This means that your body no longer requires a steady stream of carbohydrates. So at 12 plus hours, your body starts producing higher amounts of growth hormone. This will help muscle sparing, weight loss, and can re help reverse aging. Growth hormone will steadily increase the longer you fast. At 18 plus hours, autophagy will start breaking down excess protein found in your blood. Old misfunctioning cells will be used as fuel now at 20 plus hours, your gut has the opportunity to repair and heal itself from any damage in the absence of food. Stem cells start to heal damaged parts of your body and inflammation will decrease. At 48 to 72 hours, stem cell production skyrockets and certain diseases like cancer can be hindered or destroyed 
and your immunity will increase in this time period. Longer fast should be approached slowly. Try intermittent fasting 16-8 first and then take it up to 20, 24, and 48 hours. Your tolerance for the lack of food will increase over time. My first 24-hour attempt failed about 20 hours in, but don't give up. I hope that this video inspires you. If you're someone that is experiencing some kind of health issue, I hope you give fasting a try. Unlike medication, fasting has no ill side effects. I will link all the research in the description box below. Remember guys, health is wealth. See ya.